Welcome back to Every Way Woman, and we have with us today self-defense expert, Mr. Matt Boo. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing really well. So now you teach self-defense to children? Yeah, we teach it to children. Uh, I teach a lot of different uh, locations. On location, mm -hmm. we have uh, karate schools we go to, but also preschools, private schools, things like that. Oh, That's wow. awesome. That's good. Now with kids, how much self-defense can a kid do to really protect themselves? Because they're so small. Yeah, I think a lot of times people get uh, fighting and maybe even competition and self-defense mixed up. Self-defense is about getting away. Stopping someone from doing something to you, going in and finding help, getting away from someone if they go to find someone else. So awesome. Master Matt Boo, what should a kid, what's the most important thing for a kid to know to defend themselves? I think what's it's awareness. I mean really, it's, it's usually your brain is, is the most important thing. If, if you're going to put yourself in bad situations, you're going to end up with bad results. So uh, for instance, uh, my daughter, this is my daughter Lexi, uh, she, a few like years ice. ago she was at a, a grocery store and a man tried to get her to come outside with him. She was standing in the aisle. He was talking oh, to her, okay. smiling and talking. And she, I had taught her a lot of what to do with strangers and people you don't know. And uh, so she, what she used what I taught her to go find her mom, tell her what happened. She found me, and by that time, the guy ran off. If she would have went with him, who knows where she'd have been now. Exactly. Now, can you give us a demonstration of maybe some uh, physical tactics the kids yeah, can use? And, and what, and a lot of times people are going to think, well, it's jumping and spinning and kicking. But uh -huh. if you think of a small child, they're not going to hurt an adult most of the time. That's right. So what we try to do is we try to get them just to get away. Uh, if you, one of the things that I'll start with is, have you ever seen a two-year-old and they don't want to be picked up? Mm -hmm. They act like jello and they flop all over the floor and you can't hardly pick them up. Yes. Well, we teach kids kind of some of the principles of that. Oh. So first we'll start with Lexi. Mm, that's smart. Let's say that uh, someone's going to pick up Lexi. She's going to have her arms straight down to the side. If I was going to pick her up, she's pretty light like that. But if she drops oh. her hands now, I can't, I can't hold her up anymore. Now, if she really wanted to make sure I can't pick her up, she needs to make a scene. So she's going to flop on the floor. So I go like this, and she falls all the way down to the floor. And now by the time I go to pick her up, maybe it's too much of trouble for me now. Somebody might be looking. Okay? And uh, if someone's going to grab you, uh -huh. let's say from the front or the, the behind, you just need to know how to get out of, out of those. Mm -hmm. um, uh, why don't you come over here? Let's say that um, I go and I grab her, her arms. If you still, if you put them over your head and then drop your arms down. So put them over your head, way over your head. Now pull your elbows down real fast. It makes it much harder for me to oh, hold on. Wow. It's going for my thumbs. My, my thumbs are going to be the, the part of my body, that's my hand, that's going to uh -huh. hold it the least. So she goes straight up in the air. Now as you jerk it down, it's gonna, it comes out of my thumbs. The oh. same thing works if I go this way. So I want to, now this is a really good way to make kids understand it. You have to turn it into a game. So if I'm going to ask her to, to uh, get out of my grip, I'm going to ask her how she's going to get out. And then you're going to say, I don't know. So you're going to clap your hands and say, I don't know. Now you got to pull it harder. you got to do it really fast. And it comes oh, out of my wow. thumbs. Oh, okay. yeah. The idea is the thumb is going to be much less capable of holding than the rest of the fingers. So you teach kids little things like that on how to make someone let them go so they can go get someone else. Mm -hmm. Don't nice. teach a child to jump and spin and kick. That's for fun. That's great. That's mm -hmm. martial arts. Mm -hmm. But self-defense is different than, than just the whole martial arts. Awesome. That's now, awesome. Can, now, what can they do if, say, a dog comes after them? What can a kid do oh. against the, a dog? Yeah, it's, it's really important um, to teach kids this. I, I teach this a lot. We have a whole animal safety uh, mm -hmm. program we do with them. One of the main things you do with dogs, dogs love to chase. And if you uh, turn around and run, they're yeah, going to say, yeah, time to chase. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get that one. <laughs> so what we want to do is, like, let's say that uh, there, there's a dog and, and, and Lexi's here. She doesn't, she doesn't want to get bit by the dog. She first has to walk backwards slowly. And so you have to teach them how to walk backwards slowly and learn what's behind them. So if a dog's coming at you, you're going to walk backwards slowly. Also, if you have something you can have in your hand, dogs don't understand they can go through things. So I, I uh, talk to a lot of people that mm -hmm. work for animal control, and they'll tell you if you put a clipboard in front of a dog's face, you can guide yourself out and oh, get into a car, lock wow. the door, get off a fence, and you, they'll constantly go around it, but they won't go through it. Okay. What about wow. showing fear? They always say you shouldn't show fear with yeah. an animal. Is that true or not? Yeah, and a lot of times kids, it's hard for them to do that. It's hard for them to, to not be afraid. So what we say is don't show your teeth. Uh, mm -hmm. little, uh, kids like to smile at dogs and laugh, and they, yeah. or they, they're scared and they want to scream. Loud noises and showing your teeth to a dog is barking and growling. Especially for children, dogs see children as, as other dogs they, yeah. because they're smaller they're and they're, they're close to the same <laughs> size. Oh, so that's why you tell your kids, don't get next to your dogs while they're eating. If right. they're a dog, they think you're going to take their food. They do. Right. So, and it's the same thing with strangers, with animals, with bullies, everything. 
It's about awareness. It's about knowing those things so that you don't have to fight. Everybody thinks about a martial uh -huh. arts and karate as fighting, but it's not about fighting. Fighting is, is what you do with other martial artists or other karate stylists yeah. because you want to see if your technique works against them. And usually it's in a competition setting. But self-defense is, is always about getting away. Now, how awesome. long does it take to teach a child self-defense? Well, it all depends. It depends on how often you do it mm -hmm. and, uh, and how well they're going to engage it. I mean, if you're doing it, going to do it once you know, every six months, of course they're not going to really remember anything. Right. But if you develop games mm -hmm. and you put these in games with them, they're going to remember it much better. We have a lot of games we play with them, games where I'll chase them and they know what to scream and then where to go and who they're supposed to look for. And, and you, when you're, you act like a dog and you chase your kid around and make sure they don't run and those kind of things. Well, what's the best thing for a child to scream if someone is coming after them? Like, I know that they say, like, don't yell help sometimes. You want to yell things. Well, that's what I learned when I was young, like fire mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, if, if attention. you yell things that um, may seem implausible or may seem... Uh, well, thank you, Master Boot. Now, if somebody <laughs> needs to reach you, how can they reach you? Well, I have a website. Uh, it's uh, masterboo, B-O-O-E dot com. And uh, I have a couple of books they can look up as well. Thank you very much. And after the break, we're going to have fitness expert not to leave with us.